वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो आई विल गाइड यू फॉर स्टील रे इनफोर्समेंट डिटेल्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस आर सी सी स्लेब गाइज यू कैन सी लुक अयर हियर दे डेट सम कामन मिस्टेक्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस आर सी सी स्लेब विच इज रिलेटेड लेपिंग लेंथ गाइज यू कैन सी ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस फ्लोर बीम दे प्रोवाइड लेपिंग वेर वी रिक्वायर टू प्रोवाइड क्रिंक बार आर एक्स्ट्रा स्टील रॉड्स टू रेजिस्ट नेगेटिव बिल्डिंग मोमेंट Unfortunately, they provided lapping length, which length is one point five meter, or you can say five feet. On the other side, guys, you can see the spacing between main bars and distribution bars. You can see clearly. Now the span between two column is twenty six feet. The spacing is nine by nine inches for main bars and distribution bars. This is singly mesh. On the top of this, they will provide the other mesh. It will be doubly mesh. and the spacing will be 4.5 by 4.5 inches on the top of floor beam they provided lapping on the other side guys you can see the floor beam size which is 12 by you can see this is 12 by 16 inches look at here guys the spacing of stirrups are about 9 inches you can see clearly and the dia is 10 mm they provided three steel rods at the bottom two at the top on the other side you can see the lapping is provided on the top of this floor beam where we have more chances of cracks to resist cracks so provide crank bar or bent up bar or you can say extra steel rods at the distance of l by 4 or l by 3 where the length is maximum so l by 3 if we have the minimum spacing so l by 4 is okay you can see guys on both directions they provided lapping length you can see on the other side the hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree this is the place to provide double mesh l by 4 on both directions both direction means if we have two way slab so provide on both direction if this is one way slab so provide on one direction actually they provided the steel reinforcement but they don't know the rules regulation of steel structure design if you are working on construction site if you are going more than g plus 1 story so you should hire the structural engineer to give you the structural drawing according to the structural drawing you should place the steel reinforcement if that is foundation beam column slab head and beam or anything related to the structural design so you should know about its drawing and its rules regulation guys you can see The size of the column is twelve by twelve, twelve uh, by nine inches. Where, guys, you can see they provided six numbers of steel rods, and the dia is sixteen millimeter. Here, you can see the spacing is about six twelve inches at the distance of L by four for the stirrups. So this is one of the big mistake, guys. They provided also two extra steel rods on the top portion of this beam, but here, if you see the spacing is not okay. They don't know about the technical terms. Only they are. placing the steel reinforcement by the help of steel st steel fixer but they should hire the structure engineer a site supervisor before starting steel reinforcement they should know the technical terms then they can start the steel reinforcement otherwise they will face more problems and they will waste the steel reinforcement guys you can see clearly on the other side they will again making lapping length to extend the steel reinforcement length guys you can see look at here guys main bars and distribution bars you can see they are working on this construction site the steel fixer are working but they don't have the steel structural drawing so therefore they are doing anything which they want hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye